I want to talk about moving photos and folders of photos around inside Lightroom. One of Lightroom's strengths is photo organization, but it's important that if you're using Lightroom to organize photos, that you use Lightroom to move your photos. Now, we all have this very common problem. You have your photos on your hard drive, maybe on your laptop, maybe it's an external drive that's now full. How do you move photos and folders of photos around without creating problems and losing photos? Before we get to that, I want to let you know that this video is brought to you by the Photo Enthusiast Network. It was actually a member of the network that requested this video. I love how community driven this network is. You know, it was just over a year ago that we launched Pen, and it's been awesome to watch this community grow. I mean, the whole reason I started this channel was to help people with photography, whether that was gear questions, technique, or post processing. And now, joining forces with other professional photographers to share more content, more resources, and a more importantly, personal support to see you grow as a photographer. I don't care what level of photographer you are. We're here to help you take better photos. There's a link down below to take a look at all that we offer and the ridiculously low price to join. I do want you to consider joining before the end of the year as the price is increasing on January 1st. Now let's talk about using Lightroom. You can see over here on the left hand side, I'm in the library module. I've got my hard drive and I have some photos on here. I don't typically store photos on here, it's just it happened by accident. And now I've realized it and I need to move them to an external drive. Real quick, I'll just point out that to the left of any drives, including your hard drive or drives you have plugged in, is a little light. Green means Lightroom thinks there's plenty of space left on that drive. It'll turn yellow when drive space is getting low. And the light will actually be off if the drive isn't plugged in and those files will not be accessible to you unless you've built smart previews. That's something I've talked about in my other videos. So I don't want to move these photos to this drive. That's not where they go. So I've plugged in a new drive, a new drive that I want to use. You can see it listed right here, DJI Copilot. This is that new drive. But Lightroom doesn't have any awareness of that drive. Let me go back to pictures for a second. You say, well, Lightroom doesn't know about it. Can I just grab these pictures right here? These are the same ones and drag them and drop them down here. You could, but we call that cheating on Lightroom. So you've entered into a relationship with Lightroom. If you use it to store and organize your photos, if you start doing things, moving photos outside of Lightroom, you're going to break that communication and you're going to have a really poor experience with Lightroom because now you're going to be spending time looking for pictures that Lightroom thinks it knows about but can't actually find the master files. So there's a really simple solution here. We just need to make Lightroom aware of this drive and there's a really easy way to do that. Right here in this folder header, there's a little plus button. Click that and choose add folder. Now it's going to pop up some location somewhere on your machine. I'm using a Mac. It doesn't matter if you're using a Mac or PC. This is Finder. On PC, you're going to be using Explorer. This is not a Lightroom window. This is your computer's Explorer or Finder window. I simply need to go to the drive that I want and create a new folder. I'm going to call it 2018 Photos. Maybe you're getting ready for 2019. So uh, whatever makes sense for you. But this is the top level folder that's going to contain all of these folders and photos that you want to move. So I'm going to create that. So I've just created it. It pops me right into it. And I'm just going to click Choose. It is important that you create a new folder at this point. Don't try to use an existing one. Uh, you can, but Lightroom is at first going to want to try to import any pictures from it. And if there aren't any in there, then it's going to get confused. Just walk through these steps as I've just done them of creating the new folder through this mechanism. Now look, here is that DJI Copilot Drive. Lightroom is suddenly aware of it. It's pretty snazzy. And I can now simply click and drag this folder and drop it onto that folder. Even better though, I want to move all four of these. I can click the first one, hold down shift, click the last one in the group, and drag and drop. And now up above, it tells me that four operations are in progress, an operation for each folder moving. And you'll see the numbers and the folders appear here, and the numbers start to increase, while down here you'll see these numbers decrease. This is one of those fairly rare instances where I say leave Lightroom alone while it's working. Don't go 
try to edit any other pictures. Certainly don't try to edit any of these pictures while they're moving. Uh, pick up your phone, check in on Facebook, send your mom a message, take some time to step away and don't try to do anything else while this operation is happening. When it's completed, these bars go away. I find that Lightroom is a little buggy in this operation sometimes and it will completely have copied everything fine. All of these folders now will be zero, but the bars will just stick and you can just restart Lightroom and it's perfectly happy again then. And sometimes it does leave these folders behind. You can just right click and remove them at the end of this process. We'll speed this up so it's all done and show you those last couple of steps. And it's finished up nicely. You can see that on my hard drive now is just this one subfolder or actually master folder that has zero images in it. I could remove that now by right clicking and saying remove. And you can also see that our progress indicator has gone away, indicating full and complete success. What if you need to move just photos, no folders? Well, here is a group of photos and uh, this little cardinal, it's not a real cardinal, is sitting here in this exploration to Rainier picture folder. I want to move it to the holiday photos. It's as simple as clicking and dragging and dropping to move it to that other photo. Now, if that's the first time you've done it, you'll get a small pop-up box that tells you you are actually about to physically move this photo. You're using Lightroom as your cataloger and organizer, and it is reaching into your machine and moving that file from one folder to another. If you needed to move more than one at a time, you can use that same technique. Click the first one, hold down shift, click the last one in the group of the ones that you want to move, and click and drag on any single one of them and drop them where you want to go. I'm going to leave these right where they are. Sometimes you do need to actually click on the picture itself. There's a difference in area between the picture and the gray border that surrounds it. Don't click there. I hope you found this quick video helpful. As always, if you've got questions or comments, leave them right down below and consider joining Penn and we'll have lots more content for you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.